Hey guys, it's Mike from UyghurTech.com and today I am doing a tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. Be sure to subscribe below and you can also subscribe to my videos in the link in the description below. Today we're going to be giving you the first video of 10 in a tutorial lesson on GIMP. Now GIMP is a photo editing software, it's kind of a free replacement uh, for Photoshop. And so today in this first tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to open the image, I'm going to show you how to change the dimensions of the image, how to change the file size, how to crop the image, and how to flip or rotate the image. And that's what we are going to do today. So let's just go ahead and get started. So when you open GIMP, you are left with these. You have kind of two panels on your left and right in this one main little box here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and open our image. So you just go to file and open, and you navigate to your folder. I've already done it. So I've got this uh, stock photo here of some wood, and we're gonna open it up. And so it opens up the file. Now the one thing I wanna tell you guys first off is that the first thing that we're gonna do is change the dimensions. Sometimes your file might be too large for what you're trying to do and you need to shrink it down. Maybe you're putting it on a web page, or maybe you're you know, trying to fit it into a certain document and you need it to be smaller. So up here, right here, you can kinda of see that it shows us the size in pixels of the image. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. So to do that, we're gonna go up and we're gonna click on image, and we're gonna go down to scale image. So this box pops up right here. And what it's gonna do is the image size is the thing we're gonna to wanna to change, and we're gonna to wanna to leave it on pixels. Now you can go in there and you can change this to percent, to inches, and anything like that. But for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it on pixels because that is what it brought it up in. You wanna make sure that this little link is actually linked. So if you do this, it breaks the link. We wanna link it. What that does is it makes sure that the aspect ratio stays the same. So if you didn't have that linked and you changed the width but not the height, you would end up with a really warped looking image and it wouldn't be right. So make sure that's linked. And for this example, we're just gonna change this to 1000. And as you guys can see, it automatically changed the bottom one to 750 because it kept that ratio. And we're just gonna click scale. And so now you can see it is a much smaller image and you can also see that up here, it changed the size, the dimensions of the photo. So that is step one. It's as easy as that for scaling down a photo. And you can also do the opposite. You could scale it up if you wanted to. So let's go back and do that. Let's go to image. I'm gonna go to scale image. We're gonna bring it back up to 3000. And hit scale. Takes a little bit and now it's back to normal. So that is the first lesson. The second one is to change the actual file size of the image. Maybe your file size is a little bit too big. A lot of like you know, YouTube and a lot of websites when you're uploading a file, they have a file limit size. And so sometimes it can be too large. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a smaller image size. So when we go to file and then we are gonna go down to export as soon as this loads. We're gonna go down to export. And I'm just gonna export it right into this same little folder right here. So you click export and we are gonna hit replace. Now in this quality setting, this is where you're gonna change it. So if you scale it down a little bit, it's gonna be a smaller file size. Now, most of the time, with it can tell you what the file size is going to be, but for mine, it's not popping that up right now. Sometimes it'll give it to you, sometimes it won't. But if you scale it down, it's gonna give you a much smaller image. So I'm gonna leave it back up 100, but when you do that and you click export, it's gonna export it back at that full quality. We're gonna cancel out, but that is how you make the file size a little bit smaller. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna crop the image. Let's say a lot of times you would do this if you had a, you know, a family photo of people or if you have something where you wanna crop out maybe the extra space around it. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So we're gonna to go to tools and it's under transform tools and it's under crop right there. So now you've got this little cursor and it's got a little knife by it. That's how you know you're on the crop tool. And we're just gonna select the area that we want to show and everything else will be cropped out. So let's say I only want this tiny little area here right here to show. So if I do that, it selects it, but you're not done yet. The one major key to this is after you've selected it, you're gonna hit enter and now it has done the full crop. So now you are cropped into whatever area you want. You can see that it also changed the dimensions. So this also is another way to change those dimensions. When you crop, it's obviously gonna change the dimensions of the photo. So let's go back to our full photo here. And we have two more little things I'm gonna show you. And it is how to flip and how to rotate your image. So this is also under the tools, transform tools area. 
So we're going to here. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to rotate an image. So when you click on that rotate, you get this little box that pops up and your photo turns into a grid. Now you can do it by the slider. You can adjust your angle by the slider. So I can turn it here and you can see it starts to turn. But what I like to do is obviously I want a clean right angle. So I'm going to do, let's say 90 degrees. And you can see that in the photo, it's going to show you how it's going to look before it actually does it. So it didn't do anything wrong right now, but in, so now we're going to actually click rotate. It takes a second to render it. And now you have a rotated image. So now we just rotated that on its side. So let's go back to our normal image here. And the final thing I'm going to show you guys today is how to flip the image. Now on this image, it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but pretty much the flip is going to go right on its side. Imagine if you're looking at the photo from the back side. So this is also under the tools. We're going to go to transform tools and we're going to go to flip. Now, when you do the flip, you get a little cursor with two arrows pointing side to side. And all you do is click and drag in the direction you want to flip. So let's say we want to flip this horizontally. So we want to flip it side to side. We're going to click and drag to the right and let go. And you can see it's going to take a little bit to render it and it just flipped it on its side. Now let's go back and do the opposite. So we're going to undo that flip and then let's flip it the other way vertically. So I just click up here and I drag down and then let go. And it did that, it flipped it the other way. So those are, there's two ways to flip it. And so really in GIMP, you gotta kinda get used to which tools are gonna bring up the cursor and which tools are gonna bring up a dialog box. You saw that with the flip, it brought up the cursor, but with the rotate, it brought up the dialog box. So just two things there. So those are the quick tips to get you started editing your photos in GIMP. Stay tuned for the next nine tutorial videos on GIMP. Like I said, my name is Mike Weger. I am from WegerTech.com, but this is a tutorial for Wild Academy. So be sure to subscribe to Wild Academy for some other great videos, but also you can subscribe here or you can click on my link in the description and subscribe to me there. But until then, tech on and have a great day.